no one really owns a vintage car. You're a caretaker for a certain period of time. And that's the wonderful thing about them. It's a piece of work that people value. You get a chance to, to restore it, you get a chance to drive it, you get a chance to um, take care of it for a certain period of time. And you become part of the history of that collector car or that vintage race car. My name is Andy Green, I live in Savannah, Georgia, and I am the owner of Andy Green Sports and Vintage Race Cars. And basically what we do is uh, vintage road racing cars, collector cars, and the only newer cars we work on are Ferraris. Uh, we work on Ferraris of all different years, um, going back to the 50s. Um, we basically do work for enthusiasts, you know, the, uh, if people are into their cars, we, we have a home for them. I was uh, just getting out of college and I met a guy from my neighborhood who had a Ferrari garage. He was a Ferrari specialist. And he said, why don't you come to my shop and take a look around? And I walked in and it was filled with Ferrari race cars and Ferrari street cars and it's some really rare stuff. There were Formula One Ferraris and, and special prototype racing cars and it was just an amazing experience. And he offered me a job. So I said, well, I'll do this for a year. Well, that became eight years. And um, from his place, I went off on my own. The early cars that were no manuals, you had to learn from someone else. You had to apprentice from someone else. And it was very much a very old old school, old, uh, old world approach um, to craftsmanship and, and to uh, building something. I have a fascination with that, that hand work and that hand craftsmanship. You know, you take apart an old Ferrari and you see the signature of the man that covered the door panel or, or made it in a particular part. You can see the hammer marks. I mean, that just, you know, that, that I find fascinating. Especially the older Ferraris. There are some of the older Ferraris that I've worked on where at the end of a long day, I just, when everything is done, I just stop and just look at the car, just the shape. But that's just the beginning. every car but I've driven so many different types of cars and the Ferrari just stands out as just 